Hey everyone. Still no cards at Target, no cards at Walmart, no cards to be found, but there's a local antique mall that has a little baseball card stand. The inventory there never really changes, but also I don't think anyone in the world but me knows about it. So there's always some cards there. They have a bunch of old stuff. These 2004 tops, 2006 tops. These are a dollar a piece. This was 250. You're basically just looking for Hall of Famers in these packs. They still have some 2019 Series 1 where you could get uh, Jeff McNeil, Brandon Lau, rookies, but even those are not worth more than a buck or two. And uh, they still have a handful of 2020 Series 2, which of course you might find a Luis Robert. So grabbed a couple packs today and see what we see. Start with these 2004. And again, just looking, I think, for Hall of Fame caliber players. There's no rookies of interest. I can already tell these have sort of bricked together. Uh, but they look like they'll come apart without too much damage. Okay, so we got a Keith Folk, Juan Rivera, Juan Gonzalez, decent, Jose Yen, Jose Hernandez, Here's a Mike Messina Gold Glove Award winner. And Dan Wilson, Kirk Sarlos, Sotaguchi, Jake Westbrook, and Randy Johnson, Mark Pryor, and Pedro Martinez. And will be sports clip. This, I guess, is like an advertising card. I don't know if these have any value whatsoever, but if they did, you got a Randy Johnson and a Pedro on there, so kind of cool. And the second one of these, some of these, I recall from opening them in the past, had these cards that encouraged uh, students to work hard in school. All right, we got athletics, we got Mariners, uh, really, really good, four team cards to start out with. Uh, let's see, Scott Besed Besednik, a presidential pastime card with James K. Polk. Interesting. Um, don't know if these are at all collectible. My guess would be random people collect these series. Might be worth a dollar. Tory Hunter, good name from back in the day. Aramis Ramirez. Craig Biggio, there's a Hall of Famer. And J.T. Snow. Okay. So those are just a dollar a piece. It's fun to open, find something, uh, anything really for a dollar a piece is fine or nothing. Here's a 2006 set. This was 250, and these ones at least are not sticky at all. So we got a Kelvin Escobar, Nick Green, Kurt Schilling, who uh, doesn't even want to be. <laughs> Be a Hall of Famer anymore. Johan Santana, that's a good one. Padres, you got Chris Burke, Odalis Perez, Ned Yost, manager card, Willie Ayer, and Scott Shields. So, not much of interest there. Okay, so one of the best cards I ever pulled out of a pack came out of one of these 2019 Series 1 packs. This is a hobby, all of these things are hobby packs. So you could have uh, autos, relics. But I pulled a short print of Ronald Acuna out. And at the, I think at the time I sold it for like $80 or $90. Uh, but you could find such things in these packs. Variations of big players or, you know, autos. Otherwise, rookie-wise, again, you're kind of looking at Jeff McNeil and Brandon Lau are the only two. Maybe Justice Sheffield. The only noteworthy rookies. So Tanner Rourke, Trey Mancini, Nick Marcakis, Paul Goldschmidt. Yeah, Sean Reed Foley might be a, a 30 cent card. Got Willie Calhoun, a ballpark card. Wrigley Field. Kyle Tucker rookie. It's a rookie. This is um that old card stock. So this is out of 99. So that's something as far as uh, 
inserts go, you get a numbered card. And then a Blake Snell, Lourdes Gurriel Juniors. All right, Josh Hader, David Bote, and Derek Dietrich. So I don't think, uh, I don't know what this Kyle Tucker might be worth. I don't know if anyone collects these, um, these classic tops uh, on the hard stock series, but it is out of 100. It is a rookie card, so that's kind of cool. All right, and here you're mainly just looking for Luis Robert or any of the other rare cards that you could find in any tops pack. All right, you got Paul De Jong, D. Gordon, Giants team card, Washington team card, I suppose, Brendan Rogers future star card, Colin Moran. Uh, Ron Rangel, Ron Hell, Ravelo. Generally, I always pull out rookie cards uh, in recent years just because you never know. Victor Caratini, Shun Yamaguchi. It's all right. Cal Quantrill, Corey Dickerson, a home run derby card with Josh Bell. And then finally, a Colton Wong and a Quang Hyun Kim. So, all right, once again, not much um, for a five, these, these last two packs were 550, which is uh, basically kind of what you're going to find on eBay. So um, that's it. It's just a short little video, nothing crazy. Maybe the best card of all those was this Kyle Tucker. I have to look up the value of that, um, but that's it. Stay tuned for more.